Okay, in this little section of video, we're going to look at sketching, and this time we're going to be sketching quadratic curves. Okay, once again, sketching does not mean draw an accurate picture. So we do not need to do a table of values with lots of points and join them up to get an accurate curve. This is simply a sketch. All this work that we're going to do is based on you memorising the very first one that I look at. Number one, you should know and learn off by heart the picture of y equals x squared. In a previous video we will have plotted it accurately, so you should know what it looks like and you learn that off by heart. So y equals x squared, just set up the axes like so, this is only a sketch. y equals x squared, if you remember, was a symmetrical u shape with the bottom of the u in that position there, at naught on the y-axis. That's y equals x squared. Now you learn that off by heart. Now based on that, we then look at the sketches of a variety of different quadratic curves. Remember, quadratic curve is an x squared curve. So for example, number two, if I looked at y equals x squared plus seven, okay, remember what we looked at in these uh, control experiments that we did on another video y equals x squared plus 7, you've got an x squared graph, which is a u-shaped graph, plus 7 on the end, if you remember that controls up and down motion. So a plus 7 on the end tells you to move the u-shape up to 7 on the y-axis, and you get exactly the same u-shape that I drew in the previous picture, it's just moved up 7 places. That's y equals x squared plus 7. Okay, let's have a look at question number 3. You might get y equals x squared minus 2. Okay, y equals x squared minus 2. You get y and x axis. It's an x squared graph, that's the u shape, and basically a minus 2 on the end means that the original u shape, which is that, is moved two places down. So you go to minus 2 down here and you draw in that position your basic u shape. It's supposed to be the same u shape there as um, there. These two u-shapes should be an identical shape. Okay, and, that, and that's it. That is a sketch for y equals x squared minus 2. If I look at question number 4, let's change things slightly. What if I said to you y equals 10x squared? Something like that. Okay, so y equals 10x squared. There's the ordinary x squared graph. Now, when you draw the ordinary x squared graph, it's actually got a 1 in front of it. If you remember our control experiments, when you change that number in front of the x squared, it controls how steep the u is that we draw. So if you've got 10x squared, it's going to be a much steeper u. I've done nothing else to the u shape. There's no number on the end, so I'm not going to shift it up or down at all. All I'm going to do is make it a 10x squared, which means it's going to be in the same position, but much steeper than it was originally. So that's why it was 10x squared. Okay, if I get rid of these now, I'll leave the original one there so we can use that as our template to shift these things around. So I'm now going to do number five here. Number five, I'm going to do y equals a quarter x squared. So a quarter x squared is the one to sketch now. So we have this like so, y and x like that. And a y equals a quarter x squared. There's no number on the end, so I'm not moving it up or down. Uh, the number in front of the x squared is a quarter, which means it's going to be a less steep u-shape than the original that we've got over here. A quarter is less than one. So I'm going to do a very shallow u-shape, looking something like that. So that would be a sketch of y equals a quarter x squared. Okay, okay, number six. How about something like this then? What about minus x squared? Okay, so remember what y equals minus x squared looks like. The effect of putting the minus there is to take that x squared, which is that basic graph, and flip it upside down or reflect it in the x-axis. We've done this in a previous control experiment. And you get exactly the same as that, but just reflect it upside down like so. There's no number on the end, so it doesn't move up or down at all. That's minus x squared. How about number seven? For number 7, what if I did y equals minus 8x squared minus 2? So this time I've got a mixture of things going on. Uh, it's an x squared graph, but because of the minus there, it's going to be an n shape, flipped upside down, reflected, just like this one was. It's going to be very steep because of the 8, and I've got a minus 2, which controls the up and down motion of things. 
So I'm going to do a sketch here, y and x axis. The minus 2 means things get shifted down to minus 2 there. It's a, a negative, so it's an end shape, and it's steep. So we should be drawing it in a steep end shape, which is shifted down two places. So that's the end of that little sketch, fairly straightforward. OK, carrying on, let's just do a variety of these things. So number 8, number 8 here, what about y equals uh, minus one third x squared plus 7? So in this particular case, we've got quite a few things going on. I know y and x-axis. I know it's a quadratic because of the x squared. I know it's a minus in front of it, so it's an n-shape. I know a third in front of it means it's shallow, shallower than 1x squared, so a shallow n-shape. And I know the plus 7 on the end controls vertical motion. So you need to move things up, 7, and you need to draw an n-shape, which is very shallow, in with the top of the end at that position there. So something like that is the sort of picture you'd get for minus one third x squared plus seven. It's only a sketch, it doesn't have to be accurate. Okay, number nine. Okay, how about something like this then? Y equals x minus one in a bracket squared. Okay, we've done the control experiment. You should remember that the control experiment showed you that if you've got something in a bracket, like so, and it's all being squared, x in a bracket with a number in a bracket and that's all squared, that sort of thing is going to take the ordinary x squared graph and it's going to shift things horizontally. So the sketch of this would look like y and x axis. The basic u shape, u shape for y equals x squared is going to have a horizontal shift, but you, you don't move it to minus 1 on the x axis, which you might think looking at that, you do the reverse. You move it to a positive one there, and you just draw the same U-shape there as you started with in the original position. So it's just a one shift to the right move for Y equals X minus 1 squared. So if I had number 10, okay, here is the axis I'm going to set up. And I'll write down the equation here. Uh, the equation is Y equals, I don't know, we'll do uh, X plus 3 all squared plus 2. So here's the equation I'm, I'm going to sketch this time. You've got a squared, which is a quadratic. Um, it, there's a plus in front of it, so it's a U-shape. There is no sign in front of the bracket, so it means it's a positive quantity. So it's a U-shape. Um, I can see it's plus 3 inside the bracket, so the, or, the ordinary X-squared U-shape is moved 3 places left. So I need to indicate a minus 3 because of that 3 there, 3 left. And it's also a plus 2 on the end, and that controls a vertical motion. So if I put 2 on the y-axis, positive 2. The intersection of those two points is there. So the U-shape starts there, moves 3 left and 2 up. And you get your basic U-shape that looks like that. That, sh that curve is moved 3 left, 2 up. And that's the uh, picture for that particular equation. OK, so I'm getting rid of these. Let's have a look at... Number 11, number 11, you might get something like this. Y equals minus uh, 10 lots of X minus 1 squared plus 7. Something like that. Okay, so a sketch of this would look like so. Y and X axis. A basic U shape. We know it's a U shape because it's a squared. There's X in a bracket, it's being squared, so it's X squared graph. So U shape. Because there's a minus in front of it, however, it's going to become a negative, uh, an N shape. It's going to reflect in the X axis, so I've got an N shape. Because there's a 10 in front of that bracket, it means it's going to be a very steep N shape. And uh, a steep N shape, the minus one there tells you it's going to be moved one right, not one left, one right. And then the plus seven on the end is going to tell you it's going to be moved up seven places. So if I indicate a seven there. There's no requirement for the scale on the X and the Y to be the same. So I don't need to have this in equal division or anything like that. Okay, so if I put, put the point there, remember what I'm drawing. I'm drawing a, an N shape, very steep in that position. So something like that would be the picture of that particular curve. I'll do one more, and that will be the end of this video. So if I do y equals uh, minus a quarter x plus 2 squared minus 3, if I do a sketch of this particular quadratic curve, I know it's quadratic because of the squared around the bracket. 
I know it's going to be an N shape because of the minus. It's going to be very shallow because it's a small number there, quarter. Shallow N shape. The uh, N shape is going to move, be moved two places left from that starting position. So I go to minus two there. And it's a minus three there, so it's moved three places down. So I'll put a minus three there. Put a dot there. I need to draw a shallow N shape in that position. So if I just draw a shallow N shape in that position, that's the sort of sketch you'd get for that particular curve. And that is how you sketch quadratics very quickly. That's the end of this video.